Hello everyone, welcome to MathX. We're going to solve this Olympiad equation and we're going to find positive real solutions, okay? Now, let's assume x equals one. The left-hand side will be one to power of one to power of six, which would be one, okay? Smaller than the right-hand side, okay? Because two, square root of two, this is going to be 1.4 to power of 1.4, definitely more than one, okay? Now, what if x equals two? What happens to the left-hand side, two to power of two to power of six, which would be two to power of 64? which is way more than this, okay? So it's safe to say that x will be between one and two. So you could guess a decimal value, and then we check it at the end of the video together, okay? Now how to actually solve this equation? We're going to use a trick. So, both sides, okay, to the power of, well, we're going to repeat this six for both sides. Why? Well, you're gonna see it shortly, okay? Let me write the power rule that we're gonna use. Okay, a to power of m, again, to power of n. We could swap a m n, that would be n will be inside parentheses, m will be outside, okay? We're going to apply the trick. Now, you're going to assume that this two, x to power of six is m. We're going to take out the whole thing, okay? So all of this will be out, okay? So we're going to have x to power of six. And you see now why we did everything because you see, x to the power of six is repeating. Okay, equals. I'm going to do the same step. Let's assume this is m, okay? And m will be out. Okay, so we're going to have a square root of two to power of six, again, to power of the square root of two. Okay, of course, this is going to be two to power of three, right? Okay, I'm gonna go and write it here. So I'm gonna write this left hand side, x to the power of six. Again, x to the power of six. The left hand side, the right hand side will be two to power of three. And all of it to power of square root of two, okay. Now what to do with this? They don't look the same, okay? Well, we're going to do this. I'm going to divide this by two and multiply this by two. Okay, I'm not changing anything now. Okay, I'm gonna write another power rule here. Okay, I'm gonna change only the right-hand side of it. A to power of M. Okay, this would be, oops, this would be a to power of m times n, right? So now if we multiply everything, right, all of this, if you multiply it, it's going to be, okay, three square root of two, okay? Now, but I want to just have these two out, okay? So the right-hand side becomes two to power of three over two, 
all of it to square roots of two. Okay, if we multiply these two again, again, this would be the same as three square root of two. So I didn't change m times n, still three square root of two, okay? So now we already know, so that I could write this side as two to power of three over two as well, okay? So I'm gonna go and write it this way. So as you could see, now the right hand side is the same as, okay, the left hand side. Okay, we managed to write them in a square form. So by comparison, we understand that x to power of x to power of six, okay, would be two to power of three over two. Now I think a lot of you know what to do from here, right? So one over six, okay, and again, one over six to both sides, okay? So we're going to have the left hand side becomes, of course, x let me go back to purple it will be x okay and now this would be two to again the power rule we're going to use it three over two multiplied by one over six so from here we're going to have x equals okay two the fourth root of two would be, okay, the answer. And if you wanted to guess the value of x, uh, I've done it, x would be approximately 1.19. This is also, again, the solution. Okay, you could use a calculator to try it. So uh, I think it's time to like and subscribe. Why not?